okay here we are again just like the first night i'm just in my bed and it's only 7 p.m pst and uh it's christmas eve and i just got back from the buffet and they had snow crab which was really really delicious and i had a whole bunch of that and there was crab salad <clears throat> that was really good too there was um, crawfish, which I realize now is not that amazing compared to crab because crab just tastes like, wow, <laughs> compared to crawfish. Um, maybe because they put a lot of salt here, I don't know, but yeah, um, I didn't go back for that much of that much crawfish. And did I have another seafood? No, those were the three. And I was planning to have some coffee, but I changed my mind and I didn't do that because I feel like the perfect level of full right now. And before that, I went to Buca de Pepo's and I had a beer and I had a shot, which a guy made and it was like sweet and delicious. And it had he like lined it with sugar, which I really like. And then he was like really worried that I would like taste alcohol or something so he like warned me to like use a lemon but it was actually really delicious and it just tasted like honey and lemonade so I'm pretty sure that's all he gave me I don't know it felt good though and um yeah I want to go to sleep and I really want to wake up at 3 a.m. PST because that will get me used to waking up at 6 a.m. EST. So I'm not going to be like totally fucked when I go back to New York. And I, for Christmas tomorrow, I really want to read this book that I have um, that you've been seeing in all my videos. It's called Teeming and it's for work. Whoops. Um... <clears throat> It's about like how to organize the structure of like your group and I guess how to get the most out of it but once I learn more about what that book is all about I'm gonna tell everyone about it um, because my manager is really hyped about it and I remember this guy at one of the bars he was like oh like why are you reading this book and then he was like oh is it required reading and it actually is not like it's something I actually just want to impress my manager with. So I'm going to read it. Tonight, I don't know if I already said this, but I really wanted coffee. And um, I didn't go with coffee because I'm like the perfect level of flow right now. Like if I had a cup of coffee, I would probably feel like terrible. So I didn't do it. And oh, tomorrow though, I would love some coffee. But I don't know what is open tomorrow besides Dick's and... It was because last year they got in trouble for being, well, I don't know if they were closed last year, but one year they were closed and Excalibur got really upset because of, like, business and stuff. So, that's the story I learned today. <laughs> um, what else? Gonna sleep early. Santa's coming tonight. Gonna read and do coffee tomorrow and relax. Oh, yeah. Well, one thing is that I noticed. Oh, well, today marks one week that I've been in Vegas and I really, really love it here. Like, I really wish I could stay forever because, first of all, I love the time zone. It's just a very relaxing time zone to just know you have like a few more hours compared to everyone else, but relatively I mean like if I lived here long term it would turn out to be the same so it doesn't really matter unfortunately um I guess I would just get used to it like eastern and then there's always someone that's like ahead of you or someone that's behind you in time zones so it's relatively the same um <clears throat> but I do really like it here um hmm. what else did I want to tell you I don't remember Oh, I really want to go to the spa. I want to go there and relax. And I, um, I was reading about like their facial packages, and I want to get a pedicure really bad. And I keep having dreams about like my hair and my nails because I got them done right before 
I got them done on Sunday and then I flew out to Vegas on the Thursday. So I did it especially for Vegas. For my hair, I did red highlights and then she did blonde on top and then before it, that it was blonde highlights on black. And basically every single wash the red dye comes out more and more and it is permanent color but uh, because my hair is naturally black the red doesn't hold so I just have like pink in some places which I really like but she was very hesitant because she wasn't sure if I would like it but I was like give me that <laughs> um what other random stuff to tell you oh um, Christmas cards are in progress. The first Christmas card is for Will. Um, oh my god. Will, I made you this Christmas card. Oh my god. Yours was the first one I did because every single time, like, I make a video and I, I don't, like, mention someone else, I just imagine I'm talking to you and then everything just comes out really easily because you're, like, such a nice person and everything. Um, and I made this Christmas card out like I felt like so comfortable I just like I like put my hair up and I just was talking to you and I was talking about Valley and stuff and I love her and yeah that was the first card I did and I did a couple of cards um and I was like debating to like post them today and then just put don't open till Christmas but then other people will see your cards so I decided to wait and then I'm going to do them tomorrow. Upload them tomorrow. What else? Oh, for the snow crab thingy. Um, I didn't mention what kind of crab I had. So it was snow crab tonight. And I mean in my other videos and my Snapchat. I didn't mention it. And I wanted to say that the, the last time I ever ate crab. Like king crab and snow crab was with Wei. And he used to open all of them for me. And my lobster too. So tonight I had to do it like all by myself and it was like really hard. I thought I was going to like lose my teeth. I was like being a total savage and like biting into like these like things and people were like staring at me. But I was really hungry and I don't know what else to do. You can't like use a fork or anything. You have to like use your teeth. And they didn't give us like any utensils or like any of the little tiny picking thing out to like take out all the insides of the seafood like they didn't like you just have to like use your hands and your teeth and your fork and that's what I did and yeah today is the first day ever that I ate seafood without you and it was super hard but it was worth it um hmm is there anything else just mostly this day makes me very nostalgic of all my previous Christmas Eves and it's my first solo Christmas Eve, which is very different and unique. Um, I'm really appreciative that I actually had the opportunity to just come out here and do this. Because I don't know like when the next time is in my life that I'll be able to go somewhere by myself. And just like be able to experience it due to like family or health or work. Especially work, because if they don't give you days, you can't do shit. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really appreciative and I'm happy to be out here. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm meeting a lot of really nice people. And I know a lot of people are, like, always worried and, like, messaging me. Especially my mom. <laughs> but, um, there's nothing to be worried about. I'm having lots of fun. And, uh... I'm, I'm learning how to live in the solitude and I'm learning how to like <clears throat> not so much depend on other people which is really very new for me and yeah this video is way past your attention span but it's Christmas Eve and I'm so low so I need to talk to somebody I'm gonna like I need to remember this forever it's like really really weird like I feel so weirded out it's like the first Christmas that I'm not home and I just feel like I would have like just woken up and then like done like the whole presents thing and everything but to be completely fair um the week before I left we did all of our Christmas stuff at work and um I got a lot of presents from my best friend because you're the best film Oh my god, those presents were so good. I got like snow, Syndra, 
and like poppy and like all these like summer icons and oh my friends took me to the movies i got to see the good dinosaur which is really really sad and depressing like i thought it was just going to be really cute about like this dinosaur who's just different but oh my god holy fuck that like was a really deep movie and then i got to see the krampus which was whoa like the best christmas movie ever like the ending you will never believe, like, ever. And then I got to eat Taco Bell, and then I got to eat at, like, these two new restaurants that I've never been to before, and I got to feed other people. I got to try other people's drinks, and then I got to keep other people's drinks if they were better than mine, and I got to try the cherry slushy at Taco Bell, with Will and I need to tell you that strawberry is still the best and I have no idea why I would just go cherry because the pink one is just so much cuter and it is my favorite it tastes like a rainbow in your mouth it's like skittles it's starburst flavored but it tastes like skittles it's really good hmm. oh yeah and then there was Christmas dinner so there was a whole bunch of stuff I did like Christmassy right before I got here so I hope that kind of balances it out. Um, tomorrow I'm going to mainly live for coffee and um, read my book and give you guys your cards and I don't know, yellow. Well, I hope everyone has happy holidays. Good night. Bye.